Yo, what's going on everybody, not your average noob here, and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be comparing the Dragon Dagger P++ to the new Abyssal Dagger imbued. Now it's going to be pretty obvious early throughout the video which weapon is more superior, so we're not going to be analyzing it just from the perspective of which item is better, but rather provide suggestions that could possibly be added on the next update so that we can see a closer margin between the two, as I'm sure you guys will agree by the end of this video that changes need to be made. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's jump right on into the analysis. Analysis. So I went ahead and divided the testing period into three main categories, that being the Dragon Dagger P++ on a normal account, the Dragon Dagger P++ with a Dragon Upgrade scroll on the account, and then obviously the Abyssal Dagger I will not need multiple accounts to test with. Each scenario is going to follow the exact same setups, that being a standard Edgeville P. Kang setup that almost every player will be able to afford, and then absolute mag strength. So let's go ahead and start with the base hits. The Dragon Dagger P++ has the capability of poking a maximum hit of 41 when using a standard setup without any pets. The Dragon Dagger P++ does, however, have a maximum poke of 47 when using absolute mag strength and an Archaic Worm or Berserker pet, it does appear to be capped. On the flip side, the Abyssal Dagger in view does have the capability of poking a maximum hit of 48 when using a standard setup that doesn't have any pets. To put it simply, the Abyssal Dagger in view is going to grant you plus 7 in your max hits using standard gear and plus 2 when using absolute max. This makes it a decent primary weapon to use as opposed to an Abyssal Tentacle. This can be really useful as your opponent will have a harder time guessing when you're going to spec if you never change your weapon. Now for the special attacks. This is where things get a little bit complicated and don't really make much sense. The Dragon Dagger P++ special attack consumption is 25% or 20% if you're using a Ring of Vigor. The Abyssal Dagger imbued also only consumes 25% rather than the standard 50 a normal Abyssal Dagger would give, but there are some notable differences in how much damage each weapon can deal. The Dragon Dagger actually has a capability of specking a 92 or 4646 in standard gear alone. That means any pets that might be added won't really make a difference and you should probably seek accuracy rather than any damage potential. The scenario is the exact same for absolute max strength. What seems to puzzle me the most is that the Abyssal Dagger imbued has a max hit capability of 82, aka 4141, in both standard and max gear. Why would anybody strive for this new weapon if a spawnable Dragon Dagger has better damage potential than a rare and right now expensive Abyssal Dagger imbued? They need to make the damage cap the exact same as the Dragon Dagger, if not slightly higher than the Dragon Dagger, to make this weapon anywhere near relevant. Now for the accuracy factor. There's only really one way I can look at accuracy, and that's going to be the test of specific special attacks in each scenario and document the results. While RNG can play a role in this, I'm sure we will all see significant differences in them, but in case we do not, I'm going to go ahead and ask the owner for the actual statistics on each weapon's accuracy so I can give you guys the hard numbers. The impressions that I had from this experiment was that the Abyssal Dagger Eye has a severe deficiency in accuracy. It took me exactly 18 hits just to see something from the Abyssal Dagger imbued in standard gear and when that hit was finally revealed, it was a medium tier hit, aka a 36. I thought this would improve by using Spawn PK's most strongest pet in the game for Millie, the Archaic Worm, however I only noticed a hit splat of 4 on the 6 hit and there were 9 zeros out of the 10 hits that we tested. I noticed a lot of zeros, even in the special attacks, and didn't really see anything too crazy other than a burst of medium tier hits somewhere down the middle of using standard gear. What blows my mind the most is that I actually had more damage, a 208 total, in standard gear, whereas my max gear only had 90 when it came to the Abyssal Dagger imbued special attack. The special attacks were very good for the Dragon Dagger, upgrade scroll or not, but we can also clearly see that the upgrade scroll was working as the damage scaling was nearly two times the amount, maybe even three times when max strength was used with the upgraded account. In conclusion, the Abyssal Dagger imbued is going to need a buff in terms of its accuracy corresponding with the data that I collected, and honestly it should be a little bit under a dragon upgraded dagger so that players that can't afford the scroll, which costs trillions by the way, can get a taste of a weapon similar to such while obtaining it through the bounty hunter store or for less of a price. It should be the same damage cap of 4646 like the Dragon Dagger, if not even better by bumping it up to 4747. Anyways guys, that's just my take on it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you guys do like seeing these Let's Compare analytical videos, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!